Our abiding national traditions of free speech, merit selection, resilience and love of country are being lost, not just in the public sector, in schools, universities, public broadcasters, major political parties and government departments, but also in large parts of corporate Australia and the commercial media. The rest of us, the rest of us are the resistance to this national takeover. Our chief ally is evidence, evidence and human nature. Through the power of reason and enlightenment, people want to have their say about the things that are important to them. They want free speech. They want freedom of religion and belief. Australians are a tough yet fair-minded people. It comes from our origins in colonial times, the things depicted in Talmadge's painting. The Australian story in settling a harsh and sometimes hostile continent on the other side of the world is one of the most remarkable in human history. Leaders like Arthur Phillip and Lachlan Macquarie in little more than a generation turned a penal colony into a civilisation, building what has now become the best nation on earth. It was achieved through resilience and mateship, the Australian habit of toughing it out and treating others as equals. Jack is as good as his master. It's in our nation to treat people as we find them, to judge them on individual merit, their work ethic, their community contribution.